Morale boosted. Mission Control is aware that many of you are very weary and discouraged with this mission. From your current perception, we know it looks pretty bleak down there. To watch world systems and decay, ambulatory insanity at the helm, the nylon rampage, humanity down each other's throats, and a dying biosphere, is probably not your idea of a good time. Try to remember that though you may be vastly outnumbered in this planet, you belong to a greater family that is by far in the majority of the remainder of the universe. Align with your heritage, remember your birthright, and be certain of your destiny. You are children of the stars, sired by light, and your reality is the superior one. The damage and corruption you see around you is just the end and choreography of the old world's last dance, and the promised reclamation of this planet is but the final manifestation of a campaign that has already been won. Curing Battle Fatigue The best cure for battle fatigue is not to battle. Although you may find it difficult not to inject a little sanity into the lemon-like rush toward death you see all around you, do not intercede. The old world is dying. It must and will come down. The best you can do is allow it to die as gracefully as possible. Whatever you put your attention in increases. For the sake of the ecosystem and the new emerging civilization, remove your attention from the death process and place it on the process of birth instead. Misplaced attention will just act to prolong the ending's agony and delay your inevitable, exalted future. The special forces. Because we do not have a millennium to spare, mission control has not left the process of reawakening solely in your hands. Alliances commands and transition teams have been sent in to facilitate your awakening and help snap you out of your coma. Please be on the lookout for these energies. You will be able to identify the special forces primarily by your inner response to them which was pre-encoded into your DNA structure before you left. No matter how rational you believe yourself to be, you will find yourself strangely interested in the unbelievable things they are saying without knowing why. The special forces are distinguishable from Earth-based organizations in that they do not lie, are not wimpy, and don't want followers. They will not allow you to use them to replace worn out, fear-based, disempowering religious belief systems. They will insist on your sovereignty, refuse to be outside authorities, and will not allow you to dump your responsibility or power at their feet. Their purpose is clear and simple. They are here to assist you into your full presence, so they can then aid in co-creating a new reality with their peers. Another characteristic feature of the special forces is a well-developed sense of humor, also distinguishing them from most Earth-based spiritual groups. These forces may be facilitated by walk-ins. They may use art forms, such as dance, interdimensional languages translated into tones, or whatever else they can get their hands on to circumvent your linear, two-dimensional linguistic system. They are experts in the transmutative process and use other dimensional technologies to break through dysfunctional patterning. Mission Control's primary goal is to successfully complete this mission with as little loss as possible. Please do not ignore the special forces that were sent in for your benefit. They are the green birds of this mission. Interdimensional brain surgery. Do not be alarmed by the subject of this article. The only dimension on which brain surgery is dangerous is the third. The very other dimension not counting the first, second and fourth has it down pat and malpractice suits are virtually unheard of. Interdimensional brain surgery is another form of assistance we offer you. The surgical procedure enables us to reroute dysfunctional brain patterns, rewire circuitry that has sure to do to deranged thought form overloads, cure all computer viruses that your brain may have contracted, and replace existing fuses with heavier equipment to ensure that everything doesn't blow out when all the lights come on. To operate, however, we need your permission on one level or another conscious permission preferred. Even your medical profession has gotten that far, usually having you sign the release before they nearly or actually kill you. The difference in our request is that it is not motivated by a desire to stay out of court, but by our total respect 
for your sovereignty. For those of you who are reluctant in any level to give your permission to go under the knife, you may be relieved to know that we don't use knives. It may also be helpful to know that we haven't lost a patient yet. Mission control awaits your decision. Exploratory emotional body surgery. Unlike interdimensional brain surgery, you do have reason to be alarmed by the subject of this article. An answer to your question, will it hurt? The answer is yes. The surgical procedure requires conscious participation and cannot be done under anesthetics. In fact, many of you will have to come out of the anesthetics you are currently under in order to participate. If you enjoy going where no man or woman has gone before and are not put off by a sloggy journey through your own internal swamp, the surgery will present little and no problem. However, if you are squeamish about traveling over darkened and repulsive terrain, we suggest you toughen up, because there is no way around this one. Lightness and darkness cannot coexist in the same place at the same time. Although emotional surgery requires some bravery, Mission Control would like to remind you that no one in their right mind would have signed up for this particular mission if they did not have any courage. The fact is, the only thing more painful than going through this procedure is not going through it. Our surgical staff is at your disposal and ready to assist you through this process. Creative License If you do not already have a creative license, we suggest you apply for one immediately. We assure you it will come in very handy as you try to accomplish what it is you came here to do. When you send in your application, be sure to indicate the level of creation you feel you are capable of handling. Once your application is received, Mission Control will check its own files to see if the class of license you have applied for matches our data concerning the creative skills you can manage. Even though Mission Control already knows the answer, we ask for your self-appraisal just to check your understanding of your role in the co-creative process. In most cases, the class of license you request will be well below the level you can handle, in which event you will be issued a learner's permit. Please do not be insulted if this is what you receive. It is temporary and will be replaced by your real license as soon as you fully awaken to your creative capacity. The learner's permit is simply a safety precaution. A full-fledged creative license requires total conscious control of the reality you are designing. It also grants you driving privileges outside your dimension. Unfortunately, losing control of your vehicle interdimensionally can cause an even worse traffic hazard than it does within the relatively safe confines of your planet. Although you will not be asked to take a written exam, a heart-slash-mind coordination test is a must. This mandatory examination will be administered to you on another dimension by your DMV staff. Also, when applying for your creative license, you need not indicate whether you wear glasses, contacts, or are legally blind. Just tell us if you can see. That's all we want to know.